What's up, everybody? Sparewood again here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Elite Dangerous. Uh, when we left off in the last episode, we had done a little bit of a run to try and bolster our relations with the uh, Empire, which kind of worked, kind of didn't. Um, it, uh, I mean, it, it did kind of work, but we ended up kind of being self, uh, what do you call it, self-destructive and, or negating in terms of getting our own bounty and kind of having to stop what we were doing to get rid of that. Um, all right. So one thing I found, uh, before I started recording was this cargo mission. Normally I don't take many cargo missions, but this one sounded interesting. It's 230,000 credit reward for 16 consumer technologies. Um, you got what we needed, and here you are. Are your credits as agreed? Darn. I actually have to give them the cargo. <laughs> that description made it sound like I already had it, so I was like, oh, okay, cool. Um, no, too good to be true. Um, so I use threads, whatever you call it thingamabobber that calculates um, where the best place to find stuff is. And I got a hit in New. One of the outposts in New. It's like um, kind of one of those I'll probably know it when I see it. Um, is my... Ship released. Engines engaged. Okay, I don't think my cargo is... Okay, I'm going to turn off my warrant scanner for now. Landing gear retracted. Woo! Um... So yeah. I found a outpost in New that sells the consumer electronics for like 6600 I think? Frameship drive charging. Um... So that was pretty cool. And I did the math, some quick math, um, and I think it'll cost me about a hundred grand to buy them. But then when I get them back, um, it'll it'll basically just uh, negate it as far as like I'll end up making like a a hundred thousand credit profit or something off of that. So that was a pretty big payout for not having to do a whole lot of work. Um, you know, some of these uh, anaconda missions and stuff like that can be pretty Marius Orbital. That was the one. Ugh! Ugh! It's like 1700 light seconds away. As so far. Um, so I'm gonna head over here to Marius Orbital, and if nothing important happens in between now and then, we'll meet you guys there, we will buy our supplies, uh, and then we'll go ahead and head back to Aknar, and, um, no, I'm not slowing down. Um, and see, I'm, I'm kinda curious to see how far we have to push the Empire before uh, they give me another rank up kind of thing. Um, because the, like I said, the um, Anaconda missions and stuff are usually around 100 to 180,000, something like that. So this is like a 230,000, even though it's not all profit, but, you know, what are you going to do? Um, so I will meet you guys there, and we will buy our supplies. Alrighty, so here we are at Marius Orbital. So let's see. Go ahead and refuel. Uh, ooh, fleet construction. What is this? The citizen. In total, the Guadayaman Corporation is now looking to source 8 million tons of metal. If that target is reached, it will ensure that Princess Lavia develops a private clipper fleets in the Empire, one that would rival even the private fleet of Senator Denton Petrius. Interesting. I'm guessing that's some kind of community objective. 
Does it say citizens of tradition in association with their are pleased? Citizens of tradition. I don't know where that is. Ooh. Hello. Discreet couriers. Is citizens of... Oh, wait. That's them. Right there. Uh -huh. Okay, citizens of tradition are empire, which is good. Three pirates. Authority vessels. Why would I take out authority vessels? Alright, so I'm going to accept this mission, but before we do that... Consumer Technologies. So I need 16 of them, which is all I can actually carry. Um, so it's about 105,000. Cargo hold at maximum capacity. Alright, good deal. So what I'm going to do... Is we are going to... Wait. Is that the scrap metal they're talking about? Produced by... It's scrap. But they said metal. Tons of metal. But that, that doesn't really explain a whole lot. Ah, well. Whatever. Um, so... Let's run this back over to Akinar at Jones Dock. Um, and then... We can... You know what, I'm actually going to turn my fuel scoop off for a bit. Ship released. Engines engaged. Landing gear retracted. Um, so we're gonna head back to Akinar now. And turn in our junk that we picked up. Or, I mean, consumer technology. <clears throat> and then we're gonna go after... Who am I going after now? Victor Brothers. Wait, Brothers? We want you to put a stop to the unwanted activities of the criminal Victor Brothers permanently. However, this mission is classified as my employer wants no data trail should you commit any jurisdictional offenses. But it says target count one. How is there one if I'm going after a pair of brothers? That makes no sense. Whatever. Um, so, yeah, I will see you guys over there, and we'll dump off our cargo, and then we'll go after the Victor Brothers, I guess. I wonder if there'll be a more than one target thing. Alright, so here we are, back at the Jones dock. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of our stiffs. Maybe? 18 credits worth of fuel takes a long time to load, apparently. That was weird. Alright, bulletin board. Uh, before I do that, what is this? I'm still looking for conflict zone missions that I can't ever seem to find. Which is annoying. Alright. Give cargo. Yay, they like me. Woohoo! Um, let's see if that... Does that do anything? One of these usual contractors for our operations come up short with their uranite payload. We need to make the difference double quick before the process shuts down if you can source. Okay, I've found I don't like these missions as much because I actually have to buy the product. Light cargo transport. Deliver to Imperial Party in the Bell Terminal. See, these kinds of things, if they were higher paying, I could get behind. Um, but... We already have a mission, though. We're going back to New to get the Victor Brothers. Um, I did find out the um, that whole deliver... Um, ooh, that whole deliver medals or whatever, um, that is actually a community goal. Hi. Doing a flyby. Oh, I'm still locked on the tower, that's why. That's funny. I thought it was... I 
thought I'd already set up my uh, destination. I had not. There we are. Um, so it is a community objective. Um, there's a station in New that's obsec uh, obsecting. Wow. Wow. I don't even know what combination of words that it obsecting. I don't even know what that meant. Like, it was accepting and obtaining, maybe? I don't know. We'll go with it. Um, but yeah, they're obsecting, because I'm just going to start using that now. Um, metals. But apparently, you either have to uh, buy it from extraction or refining stations or outposts, or you have to go into these like extraction sites and stuff and uh, mine them, which is interesting. Um, so... That opens up a little bit of an opportunity in terms of... Um, Actually, let's turn the docking computer off. We're not going to be docking anytime soon. Um, that does open some interesting situations as far as we could actually... Um, can I not... I don't think I can scoop from this star. Darn. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, We could actually use some of our funding to retrofit something into a mining ship. Um, I did that at one point, but it was, like, really basic. And no, I'm not talking about my vulture. My vulture is staying a hunter. Um, <laughs> no worries there. Um, I actually might turn off my fuel scoop, actually, for now. So yeah, um, let me know what you guys think about that. Is Should we... I don't know how long that community goal is up. I'll have to check that. But I think currently it's in the millions as far as if you just enter and get to like tier 2 or something. It's in the millions or something. And we could actually buy in um, to the, the thing and start just selling and shipping. But... I, you guys know me. I don't. I don't having to like. I don't like having to put my money into stuff. I like to be able to just, you know, go out and mine it or something if I'm gonna do it at all, kind of thing. Um, but what are you gonna do? I might have to because the money I might spend, spend. Man, I cannot talk today. Um, the money I may spend in basically setting up everything, like what I want to do for a mining ship, you know, I may end up spending more money than just buying and selling metals. Um, so there's always that factor. Uh, I've never really gotten into trading all that much, but to be honest, the Vulture has like a 16 cargo space, so I mean, it's got the most cargo space that I've had in a ship so far. All of my other ones either didn't have a cargo rack or they had like a four or something. So I could actually do fairly decent with a, with a vulture. It's fast enough and nimble enough that, um, you know, I, anything short of a player actually attacking me, I could probably get out of pretty easily or take down whoever's attacking me if I got um, interdicted. But, so I'm not really sure which one would actually end up working out better. As far as if it'd be uh, more lucrative to buy, like, a mining ship. Ooh, here we go. Um, or if it would be better just to buy and trade kind of thing. I guess as long as you're making a profit, you're making a profit. I love that scan detected. Yeah, you don't have any shields, dude. Like, have you heard the term no contest? Yeah, that was pretty good. Alright. I 
I have found some of these guys with no shields. I don't know why. Um, pirates always seem to have no shields. It kind of makes me feel like I should have taken the pirate mission now. But oh well. Come to Papa. You have no chi- Really? <laughs> really? I've, I've got no chance, huh? You're the one running, dude. Boom. Um. Oh! Side note! Totally forgot about this. Um, I was checking my page this morning when I woke up. Well, for me, it's this afternoon. I'm, I'm not an early morning person. Um, and I noticed we broke 4,000 subscribers. So, hooray to that. That is pretty darn awesome. Um, I haven't decided. I kind of snuck up on me, to be honest, that... Wow, he went down quick. Um, that kind of snuck up on me as far as I haven't really planned out any kind of special... Um, event thing to do for breaking that. So, um, feel free to leave feedback as far as things you'd like to see. I've thought, of course, about doing like a live stream or something, but I seem to always kind of do that. So, I don't know if anybody's getting, like, bored of that or whatever. Um. Oh, Nap Beacon. Okay. I was like, whoop! Ha! <laughs> Picked up a Viper on the way in. Um. So yeah, I don't know if anybody's getting bored of doing live streams or or whatever, or if they'd like to do oop, 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 uh, different stuff, you know, maybe a different... I don't know. I don't know. That's why I said uh, feel free to let me know. Because I am open to suggestions, as I have not really come up with uh, anything this time. Uh, but we can definitely do something for, for breaking that, because that is yet another milestone, which is kind of awesome. I have, I have to admit, I am a little surprised as far as, like, um, when I first started out on YouTube and stuff, I really never expected to get to that point. It's pretty exciting and pretty cool. Um, and I, I try and, um... Oop, 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 ah, crap. It's the only thing with cycling is I always seem to cycle past their power plant. Um, let's try this one. Come here. No, no, no. Mine. 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 Darn you, Cobra. Get back here. Sorry, I was in the middle of discussing this and then this Cobra's giving me a bit more of a problem. Not for long, they're not. There we go. I think we got him. Ooh, that was a nicer one. What are you? Eh, fine. Is this a frame shift? Or did he dump something? Oh, he dumped something. Robotics. Ooh. Woo! Ouch. Good thing it wasn't proximity mines. No, it's all robotics. Okay. He's not... Uh, whatchamacallit? Authority vessel. Oh, I guess I have to turn this on. Because I am not a... Boop, 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 boop. Hold on, hold on. There we go. Whew, that was interesting. Okay. So let's let's collect some of this. Because we can, we can do like a silent run and go drop this crap off and get money. Because... Well, free cargo. I wasn't really into doing this kind of stuff because it's kind of risky. 
and if it's illegal or you get fined or whatever, you know, it's just not good. But I've done a decent couple of silent runs before. Um, so I'm getting a little bit more confident in making it through a checkpoint without being scanned. So we're going to try that. Um, what was I saying, though? I was saying something about the subscribers and stuffs. Oh, got it. Um, yeah, I just, I, I really was kind of surprised that we reached that point already. It's kind of awesome. But yeah, um, do let me know in the comments and stuff what you guys think about, like, maybe doing some kind of special event or something, or... Scan detected. Oh, crap. Wait a minute. What's he gonna do? He's the only one here. You wanna scam me? Go for it, dude. You're clean pr- Huh? Okay. Okay. I ain't gonna argue. Um, I am going to head to an actual station, though. I don't trust myself trying to do a silent run on, um, on an outpost. Never done that before? See, with the stations, you can kind of, like, swoop in. Um, you can kind of just, like, shoom and, and bullet through the, the front door and be good to go. Um... The, uh, whatchamacallit, the outpost, though, you have to, like, actually find the, the plot and land on it and stuff, so I'm not real comfortable with doing, doing that. Um, what I am gonna do is some power management. And I'll probably wait till we get in there just to make sure. Well, we can turn that off, because we don't actually need to open the cargo hatch now. Yeah, we'll do all that when we get in there. Um, I found the Vulture seems to run a little bit cooler anyway. Like, right now, um, it's like 30% or something. I mean, I'm not... Granted, I'm not doing a bunch of um, turbo boosts or anything like that, but it's still just one of those, like... Uh, nope, nope, nope. I'm not fighting an anaconda with illegal cargo. We're going to make a pit stop, then we'll go after him. Um, I will meet you guys when we get to whatever this station is that you can see on your screen that I'm not even going to bother trying to pronounce. Um, and we'll do our silent run, and then we'll go back out and see if we can find the Victor Brothers. I would like to point out, I'm pretty sure I'm like the dumbest person in the world right now. Um, this station? I could be wrong. I, it would not be the first time, but I'm pretty sure this is the station that this event thing ha is going on at. Yeah. So I'm like flying in here with um, illegal cargo and everything, which is great. Um, sensors kill warrant, hull enforcement. That doesn't really do anything, but whatever. Um, crap, I want to stay outside the sensor range. Yeah, and I'm in open play. So that's the, pro that's the problem I was referring to. Because it's kind of like, um, may, might not be the smartest idea. very difficult to stay outside the range of anything and um shields offline silent running we're just going to go for it and hope there's no blockade-esque things sitting there by the door cuz that would not be good Granted. All right. Please don't scan me. Please don't scan me. Please don't scan me. Please don't scan me. Or 
We're at landing pad 42. The Hi. Hi, buddy. Let's sell this crap. You can tell that uh, this is where everything's going on because... Um, <laughs> Wait, why do I have to repair? Oh, I don't have shields on. I bumped into that guy. Ooh, didn't think about that at all. That was not smart. Not my smartest move. Um, commodities? No. No, no, no. Oh, let's, let's... While we're in here, let's just look for metal and see what kind of... Okay, so it's metals in plural, so it can be any of these, I guess. So we just need to sell... Cobalt is actually in really high demand, which is interesting. But they're probably not going to sell that much, as far as it's only selling for 951. Gold, obviously the go-to. Platinum, the go-to. Palladium, yeah. All that, all that good stuff. So it's any of those metals, which is probably why you can go to a, um... Oh, hello. I can redeem some bounty vouchers. Combat Oh, you gotta be kidding me. There's no black market here. Ha! <laughs> oh, crap. I don't want to have to do all that again. Huh. Crap, man. Alright, well, while we're here, let's check out the bulletin board. Aha! See, there is... Ooh, and we got another one of these. Frank Kenrick. What, uh, Citizens of Tradition. That's a... Okay, that is an Imperial one. Let's go ahead and grab that, too. Alright, in order to ensure... So, the global reward is the Imperial Clipper is discounted by 20% for 14 days at the moment. If we keep reaching higher tiers, then it's going to go up, I'm assuming. There's five days left. Participating gets you 80,000, 70% makes you a million, so on and so on and so forth, and that's currently at the 8th tier, so by 11th or something, might be a little different. This is an Imperial thing, so why the heck not? Um, we can start doing that pretty soon. Shipyard, do we have anything cool that we can shoot for? All of the... I was gonna say, I'd be surprised if they sold the Clipper, considering that the, uh... Objective is to get a bunch of metal for a clipper free, uh, fleet. Wow, I can't talk today. Alright. Well. I need to find... I don't know how to tell if a system has a black market or not. Oh, that's all that's here. Great. Great. You know, truth be told, I think this one might have had a black market? I don't know. Ugh, that kind of sucks. Um, how close is that? Marius Ortles. Oh my gosh! <sighs> Alright, um, well, we're gonna go for it, I guess. So, give me a minute to get over there, and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so this should be interesting. Um, I can't say I've ever attempted one of these before. Um, but we're basically going to be doing a... Um, uh, silent run. On, uh, on an outpost. Which should be interesting. 
I don't see any uh, anybody around here at the moment, which is... I mean, there are, but they look relatively far away, which is good. Let's get up and go. Alright, so there's our spot. We're gonna have to bring it around. I think. Yeah, three. This is me. I kind of have to keep remembering that I don't have shields right now. Which is really bad. Alright, give me my little... Where's my little window? Come on. Come on. Come on, I don't have all day. I swear if this one doesn't have a, a black market either, I'm going to be mad. Alright. Alright. Please have a black market. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Alright, this is getting annoying. Um, I'm about ready to just dump this crap out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, you don't have anything interesting for me, do you? No. 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 Ooh. That one would be cool, but I'd need 44. Good grief. <sighs> I didn't want to go all the way back to Akinar, but it looks like that may be my only option here. Tell you what, uh, give me a minute and I'm either going to end up back at Akinar, because um, I know somewhere recently I found a black market dealer, but in the interim, let me check and see how much these are going to bring me and whether or not it's worth it. If it's worth it, I'll meet you guys back there. If it's not, then we're just going to start right from here again and we'll go from there. All right, so we're still here. Um, I checked out on Threads and it basically told me that I was probably only going to pull in about... 10 grand or something for the cargo. So it's really not worth the effort to me. Um, so more than likely the next time I leave here, I'm just gonna jettison it. Unless it'll, it won't let me sell it, I don't think. Just from general. Um, I, I don't think anyway. Cargo. Where is it? Robotics? I don't think it'll show up. Nope. Darn. Alright, so yeah, I'm not going to make that much of it. So the next time I leave, I'm just going to wait till I get out past the no-fire zone and all that, and then just dump it and jump, and hope that they don't find me, because that would kind of suck. Um, on that note, I unfortunately think I'm about out of time for today. So these two, I may do them off-camera at some point, but they're more than likely going to fall by the wayside, I think. Um, but next episode, we'll probably work on maybe doing some of this and see how that goes. If you have any tips or ideas on whether it's better to outfit a, a mining ship and go tackle this, or if it's better to... Um, if it's better to do more of just a, you know, buy stuff and, and uh, take it back to uh, the other station, things like that, do let me know. Um... Let's see, I don't know, can I even buy this? I don't think these are... buyable. No, they don't have any. Okay. Well, that sucks. Alright, so let me know what you guys think. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace!